So uh, I'll start with my first question. I'm so sorry. No, no. no this is the culture of India that all three South Indians are sitting and you're asked to speak in Hindi. Good. <laughs> Just a small correction, sir. I'm an Indian from the South, North of South Indian. Yeah. Indian for South Asia. Good. So, so, I have a question for you, sir. So you don't want to reply to him? You can respond to him after I ask my question. Yeah? Okay. So, uh, from what I understand, and please correct me if I've got the history wrong, uh, AIMIM is the successor organization to the MIM. Which no. was, it no. was not? I no. see. So it was started by Mr. Qasim Rizvi, who fled no. to Pakistan in no, 1957. No, you, you, you got your history and facts wrong. Uh, I thought he was uh, for the support of the creation of a South no. Pakistan, no. which is a Hyderabad so Prince State. This let me just finish my question. No, no, let, no, me, no let me no, just finish no, my question. You can correct me. I'll, I'll allow you to correct me. So my question is, as a party, which assume for a moment it's, uh, it's, a, it's a misplaced conception or it's a misplaced assumption, which sees itself as the legal successor of MIM. No, we don't. I'd like no, to you're, understand. You're, no, no, your question is How wrong. have you managed to chart your journey from an entity you're, which was for the creation you're, of Pakistan to an entity which supports wrong. the constitution of India? Just explain you're, that to You're us. factually wrong. Okay, please go ahead, explain. So, I don't know which history books you have read, but I can give you some good history books to correct, uh, to correct your understanding of history. This is a political party which has no relation whatsoever with the earlier MIM. This is AIMIM. People who had, uh, who, who were called Razakars, they went to Pakistan. We have no connection whatsoever with the Razakars or with that MIM which is called. This was a party which was established and uh, registered in the Election Commission of India. We started our political journey in 1958 onwards. And when you know when you register a political party, you have to subscribe and accept the, to India's constitution. And that is how this political journey has started from 1958 onwards. Okay. So since you mentioned that um, under this particular government there has been a lot of, let's say, sabotage as far as the constitution is concerned, I remember that uh, Sri Salahuddin Awaisi, your father, was a contemporary of Indira Gandhi. So I'm trying to understand what was the position taken by your party as an organization towards the policies of Ms. or Mrs. Indira Gandhi uh, during her regime, especially well, during well, emergency well, and well, subsequently. Well, you see, the, these are journeys wherein sometimes you are in uh, weather of winter or autumn. <laughs> so, you know, politicians have to travel to various weathers. We supported Mrs. Gandhi. We opposed her, and uh, this has been the reality. Okay. And, and that is why even uh, Mrs. Gandhi came to our party office for uh, uh, the, the Sikandarabad by-election Mr. Shu Shankar was contesting. So she came to our office, and uh, we supported her at that time. Then we opposed her as well. And now I am, I am a bitter opponent of Congress, and that is why I carry this baggage of being uh, B team, C team, I don't know which team it is. Huh. So, so this is what politics continues. I see. You wanted to respond to Dr. Swami's point. Okay, now yes. uh, to respond to Dr. Swami's point about calling constitution a uh, Hindu Shastra, right? Hindu Rashtra. In, no, no, in, he says it validates the concept in, of Hindu Rashtra. Hindu Rashtra. Yes. For me, the constitution is not a religious book. It is not even a, 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 a piece of literature. And for me, religious text is, is what? Uh, that governs my relationship with my God, who I believe in. Constitution, that is not the case of the Constitution. The Constitution is a legal text which says that India has no religion. India has no religion. India celebrates all the religions. In fact, India even celebrates people who don't believe in God. So, on that point, Mr. Swami is wrong. Secondly, Mr. Swami read from the Constitution, he is reading some directive principles. What, has, what is the word he used? The state shall endeavor. Now, as a legal student, I am not a legal luminary, Mr. Swami. He is a rightful successor of Lord Denning, I can say that. Uh, so, the word shall and word may. May means is mandatory. The word shall is not mandatory. 
so it's the other way around another one okay now it's the other way around let 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 me plain english test is the other way around let me come let me come endeavor now endeavor when it comes to endeavor we, we, what has is it compulsory in the government no and when you talk about sir when you talk about that uh, cow slaughter you read earlier can i just pass me that let one minute i i could have got it there see when it comes to cow slaughter what it is under director principle of organization of agriculture and animal husbandry organization of agriculture and animal husbandry so where is the question of acceding to the the, the hindu religion over here and please remember then when constitution was being made shama prasad mukherjee was there and then mr swami talks about directive principles uh, he talked about uniform civil code let me read 51 51 uh, b to cherish and follow the noble ideals which inspired our national struggle for freedom he is against protest how did we get our freedom had we not protested and didn't miss swami's party protest with anna hazare you did protest you did protest i mean not you in, in not person you, are, you you don't come out on roads you go to court yes. but there was a protest there was a protest and then you talk about uh, then you talk about directive principles sir yeah. you know fred uniform civil code what will be the uniform civil code please tell me can can you reconcile the daya bhaga and mitakshara school of thought can you ensure that the hindu undivided family tax rebates are given to every religion isn't that contradicting right to equality and 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 moreover sir you are an economist please tell me sir i want one answer from you this present government how much allocation has been made for protection of cow may i yeah please please uh, go ahead shall i speak in hindi now or sure sure absolutely please no compulsion <laughs> All right. Hindi. Ab aada Hindi, aada Angrezi. Angrezi ho gaya hai, to baaki sab Hindi mein ab. Yahan jo likha hai, us wo jo inhone padha hai, usse bhin hai. Isme likha hai jahan tak gau hotiya par pratibandh ke sawal par. shall in particular take steps for preserving and improving the breed okay no problem and prohibiting the slaughter of not strive to prohibit or strive to <laughs> prohibiting the slaughter of cows and calves uh, and uh, drought cattle so uh, let me finish no, no, then no, 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 uh, you complete sir second you say this is not a religious document but it's a secular document and we believe and what the constitution says that all religions are equal as a muslim do you agree that hinduism can lead to god as much and as well efficiently I, as islam i agree can i can i answer on you on that i started my initial remarks by saying that india has no religion India celebrates all religion. India celebrates all religion. You are entitled to your religious belief. I am entitled to my religious belief, and no one can interfere in your practice of your religion, neither in my particular religion. But that neither doesn't answer his question. No, no, I am answering his question. Please, that is his belief. I agree to his belief. My belief is different. He has to agree to my belief. Yes, that is what I am telling you. This is this is the beauty of our constitution that you cannot sweep or impose my views or my views on him. No, I think the question is whether one belief undermines or comes in the way of the other. No, so let's not. No, yes. yes. not at all. That's not at all. Not at all. Yes. Not at all. Everyone is entitled to their beliefs. Okay. Please go ahead with your beliefs. Do not sweep, sweep or impose. and make this country a hindu rashtra mm. do not make this country a country of one religion or one culture or one language fantastic so since you raised that point uh, and i'm assuming that and, you, and, and, yeah, and yeah yeah please please you you talk about cow slaughter sir yeah. sir you are in power in all the northeast states ah. can you please bring a bill in over there I'll why are you not doing it i'll tell you i'll tell please you please do it sir i'll tell you you have repeatedly said this many times we Hindus believe that the breed called Bos indicus is the sacred cow. 
the cow in northeast is boss taurus we have no reason to protect them and boss indicus is the only breed that we shall protect as sacred and northeast is free to eat the cow they call it cow but it is not a cow so may i may i for the change i mean for the flavor of change let's just move away from certain bovine topics right no so, i didn't start it i understand i, I understand start. so let me just ask you. so since you seem to have a fundamental problem with the concept and idea of a hindu rashtra and i'm assuming that you have a problem with it after understanding what it is about could you please explain for my understanding and for the audience's understanding as to what do you understand by the word rashtra how is it the same as rajya or is rashtra the uh, is it is it different from rajya or is it the same as rajya could you please explain that for us you see the word nation has been used agar aap chahe to hyderabad yudh mein bhi baat kar sakte hain sir the word the word nation has been used in the preamble so no, i am talking about hindu rashtra no no i i am happy with that right Now, you're happy with when, that okay when you talk about hindu rashtra then you go to the savarkar's uh, ideology what he wrote that right. muslims and christians do not believe because india is not a holy land or their putra bhumi or matru bhumi right pitru, pitru. yeah exactly that is right. there when you talk about hindu rashtra then you go back to what golwalkar said in 1930s mm. he said that if muslims have to live in india they should be denied citizenship right which hmm. one step has been taken under cwa now hmm. when you talk about hindu rashtra hmm. it was the rss it was the rss it no it, let, let me answer hold and on, you can on. or you can come and sit here it no, was i would uh, request members of the audience to maintain decorum and trust me all questions will be asked please it yeah. is the hindu rashtra when you ask hindu rashtra is that it it took rss after it was banned to accept in writing that they will accept even the national flag when the national flag came out there is an art article signed by rss people in organizer that they say we do not believe in these three colors because it is inauspicious it still doesn't answer no, my question as no, to no, what I'm, is the I'm, meaning I'm explaining of rashtra according to you i am explaining sir sir do you what do, is rashtra according no, no, to you i am that is what is rashtra oh, to change is? to change india's diversity to change india's pluralism and to make it a nation of one religion okay wherein one religion has domination to change the basic structure of the constitution that's it may i please do you agree that in english there's a distinction between nation and country i am speaking about in indian context no i am i, I am speaking about indian very context very straight forward question no no i am straight forward giving answer distinction between no, no. nation and I, country i i am giving right. you a straight forward answer right. in relation to india right i am giving you that answer i am right. not concerned about what her majesty the queen does fine fine so let me ask this question when it comes to interpretation of non hindu religions in india under law or in any of the islamic seminaries which book which traces its origins to india is relied upon for interpretation of either islamic law or christian canon law i am trying to ask myself this simple question since you are saying you know i, I can please uh, explain to me aapke liye aur thoda main simple kar deta hu okay, kar dijiye jab aap fatwa jari karte hain and i i am using the word fatwa as a legal finding a judicial finding not in the negative sense hmm. okay It so is a, it is an advisory it's exactly. not a, it's not a no judicial, problem it's an advisory chahe wo advisory ho ya binding ho jo kuch bhi theek hai so the question is bharat ke kaun se book mein se aap apne let's say interpretation ko dhoondte hain my point is everything that relates to islam necessarily comes from a book and commentaries which do not originate in india okay. could that be a correct statement to make you are absolutely wrong oh please you don't me. know sahih al bukhari no, was authored in no. india do you know fatwa alam giri fatwa alam giri oh so you no, use no, fatwa no, no. alam giri no, no, to no, no, actually listen to me where please, was please. fatwa alam giri written no 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 the no, question no, is no, no, listen, when you sir, issue sir, a fatwa sir 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 do no, you see, use the quran see, are you, are or what are you using are you are you debating with me or an anchor i am asking you to debate with me i'll answer i am asking you a straight forward question i am answering you in a straight forward way please listen to me you have should i rephrase the question for you to understand better no 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 i understood i i understood where you're coming from answer please do you believe please, huh. that the islamic law is only quran and sunnah no you are absolutely wrong go ahead please explain. no it is not right it is quran huh. it is sunnah right it is uh, the judicial or the hadith, fatwas hadith, given hadith, hadith. it is no sunnah is hadith only, hadith only. then That's you have tradition. then you have schools of thought right 
Hanafi, Shafi, Maliki, right. Fifth. Right. Then you have Fatwa Alam Giri. There are so many books. So you these know, schools uh, of thought. What is the basis of the schools of thought? Is the every question. every religion, uh, huh. every school of thought. Right. Basically, Has the audience Muslim understood the question. Oh, okay, great. No, no, listen. Yes, please. Fantastic. Right. Majority of Indian Muslims are Hanafis. Right. Okay. We follow Fatwa Alam Giri. Okay. And that protection, where it comes from, uh -huh. Article Twenty Six. Okay. Isn't it? And what is the basis of Fatwa Alamgiri? Fatwa Alamgiri is the opinion of the Islamic scholars who were born in India. Based on what? Based on Quran and Sunnah. Thank and you. also advice. Thank also, you. also, all, listen, no, 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 no. You. If, you, if you don't find an answer right. in Quran and Sunnah, then the, that is what the scholars give their opinion. Right, right, right. Okay. So, please.